If you want to learn everything about the Incredible Hulk, be sure to watch the video. There's no doubt that the Incredible Hulk is one of the most badass, most terrifying characters of all Marvel co Oh, well. There's no doubt that the Incredible Hulk is one of the most interesting characters in all of Marvel Comics. His trauma, his past, and all the secret lore around him. That's why today I want to bring you the Incredible Hulk Iceberg. Be sure to stay until the end so you know everything about the Incredible Hulk. A huge thanks to Vanessa B. Wrights for letting me use their iceberg. And before starting the video, give me a like, be sure to click the subscribe button and leave It's Hulking Time in the comment section if you are a fan of the Incredible Hulk. Thank you so much for watching and with that out of the way, let's begin! Tier 1, the tip of the iceberg. Agents of Smash. Agents of Smash is a cartoon where Hulk teams up with different versions of himself, mainly She-Hulk, A-Bump, Red Hulk and Scar. The show is structured like a reality show, in the sense that most characters talk to the camera really often. This show also takes place in the same universe as the Ultimate Spider-Man cartoon, so it should give you an idea about the quality of the show. Still, you might want to give it a chance if you really like Hulk. MCU Hulk slash recasting Obviously, the Marvel Cinematic Universe counts with its unique version of the Incredible Hulk, played by Mark Ruffalo. But in the solo movie, he was played by Edward Norton. When they were going to film The Avengers, Marvel could only afford one eight-year actor. It was between Robert Downey Jr. and Edward Norton. So, they decided to keep Robert Downey Jr. and we got Mark Ruffalo in Edward Norton's place. Still, I really like Mark Ruffalo as the Incredible Hulk. 90s cartoon Hulk also had a cartoon in the 90s and is connected to the other Marvel cartoons from that time, Spider-Man, the X-Men, Iron Man and the Fantastic Four, although the crossovers in Hulk the animated series are more limited, but still some other Marvel characters appear here from time to time. Call me crazy, but I think that Hulk the animated series might be the best show or second to best show besides Spider-Man because I feel like this one has a more serious tone than the other shows. A split personality I think that it is a well-known fact that Bruce Banner has a personality disorder, result of his abusive childhood, Bruce being one, Hulk being another, and he has a lot more, like Devil Hulk, Joe Fixit, and others that we'll talk about throughout the iceberg. Hulk is a child there is the theory that Hulk is basically a child. This is a super long theory, so I'll try to do it as short as possible. Hulk will be all the repressed emotions that Bruce had as a child. Basically, when Bruce turns into Hulk, Hulk is unable to talk. That is because he doesn't know how to. It isn't after some time that Hulk learns some basic English. Betty will be like a mother figure to Hulk. Basically, Hulk is always angry and he's always alert because he always feels in danger. But when Betty is around, she manages to make Hulk feel safe. I could keep on, but you get the idea. Brady is good. Brady is the ship between Bruce Banner and Betty Ross. Although I don't know what the is good part refers to. I think that is good for Hulk, I guess. General Ross. General Ross is Betty's father and the eternal enemy of the Incredible Hulk. You don't need to be an expert on Hulk to know who General Ross is. Hulk speak. Yeah, as I previously mentioned, Hulk is able to form small sentences, but there are other versions of Hulk that can have full conversations. We'll talk about them in just a minute. Square Enix Avengers. Probably most of you already know of this game. Hulk is one of the main playable characters, although if you really want to play this game, I recommend waiting for a sale, it is not that good. Earth's Mightiest Heroes and Avengers Assemble Hulk is a main character in both cartoons, Avengers Earth's Mightiest Heroes and Avengers Assemble, although I recommend only watching Earth's Mightiest Heroes, because Avengers Assemble is not that good. She-Hulk she-Hulk is the cousin of Bruce Banner, Jennifer Walters, 
who after an accident, she gets her Hulk powers after Bruce does a transfusion of blood as a last resort to save her. She's one of the most well-known characters from the Hulk universe, so I'm pretty confident that I don't need to explain much. Lou Ferrigno The bodybuilder Lou Ferrigno played the Incredible Hulk in the first TV show of the character, although Bill Bixby played David Banner. Lou Ferrigno had a small cameo in the Incredible Hulk movie from 2003 along with Stan Lee. Bruce is a father. In the comics, Hulk had a child. In the comic Planet Hulk, Hulk meets a warrior named Cayera the Old Strong. Although things are pretty tense at first, eventually they fall in love and have a son named Scar, which is the son of Hulk in the main universe. There are others that we'll talk about later. Hulk Hands Toys Since the first Hulk movie, one of the most popular toys has been a set of globes looking like Hulk's hands. Usually they make sounds. I remember having this and they really make you feel powerful. Also, there's a harvesting tool in Fortnite that might be making reference to these toys. Tier 2 Below the Surface Bruce's Failed Marriages Bruce was married with Betty Ross and Cayera, but both marriages ended, not because any of them filed for divorce, but because of the circumstances. You know, being Hulk is hard. One day you're chilling, and the next one the Illuminati just sends you to another planet without you even knowing. Also, as any other popular superhero, the Incredible Hulk had heaps of relationships, but that would be a topic for another video. Bruce is a gay name. Hulk's name in the TV show was changed from Bruce Banner to David Banner, because the CBS talks that Bruce sounded like a name that a gay man would have. Rick Jones Rick Jones is Bruce's closest friend. If you watch the animated series, you know who he is. He was the person that Bruce saved before the bomb detonated. Since then, he became Hulk's friend. But because of comic stuff, he later became friends with Captain America and would acquire the powers of Captain Marvel. After his death, he would come back and become a bomb via gamma rays. He was trying to replicate the Hulk's accident. OG Defenders Originally, the Defenders consisted of different characters, but the three founders were Doctor Strange, Namor, and Hulk, with characters like Silver Surfer. Valkyrie, Nighthawk, Hellcat, and others coming and going. It wasn't until recently with the Netflix show that the Defenders lineup was changed to Daredevil, Jessica Jones, Luke Cage, and Iron Fist. Wolverine's first appearance Wolverine's first appearance was in The Incredible Hulk issue 181, and not in its own comic nor the X-Men. This is insane and shows the rivalry that Hulk and Wolverine always had. Planet Hulk Planet Hulk is a series of comic books that is divided into stories, Planet Hulk and World War Hulk. The story begins after Hulk destroys the city of Las Vegas. The Illuminaris trick Hulk into getting in a ship that was supposed to send him on a mission, but their intention was to send Hulk to another planet, to a peaceful planet, where Hulk could live in peace. But the ship gets sucked by a wormhole, and ends up sending Hulk to one of the most violent planets on the universe, Sakaar. I will spoil you more, but genuinely, this is one of the best stories from The Incredible Hulk. There is even an animated movie that adapts Planet Hulk. Green because inking issues Originally, Hulk was grey, but they decided to change the color to green, because the grey color was pretty inconsistent and used to mix with other colors. So, they decided to change it to green. Beans This is something that only real Hulk fans know. Hulk's favorite food are beans. He loves them. Hulk's love for beans started since The Incredible Hulk issue 4, where we can see him eating beans. Igor Igor Drenkop was the first villain of The Incredible Hulk. Sort of. He was responsible for the creation of Hulk. He was a Russian spy sent to America to spy on Bruce Banner's secrets on Gamma Research. When Bruce was about to save Rick Jones, 
Igor decided to detonate the bomb in hopes of killing Bruce Banner, but we all know how that went. Later, Igor became insane and had constant nightmares because he was responsible for the creation of Hulk. Eventually, he died. Dissociative Identity Disorder As I previously mentioned, Hulk has Dissociative Identity Disorder, having more than two alternate personalities that we'll talk about now. Savage Hulk Savage Hulk is the normal version of Hulk, the standard version if you will. This is the most well-known version of Hulk. It is worth mentioning that Savage Hulk is not totally stupid, he has the potential to learn things. And at some point, he learns how to have normal conversations. Professor Hulk The first apparition of Professor Hulk was in The Incredible Hulk issue 377. This version of Hulk has all the intelligence of Bruce Banner and the strength of Hulk without emotional baggage. Grey Hulk, Joe Fixit Grey Hulk or Joe Fixit is the original version of the Hulk, although, as I mentioned, due to inking issues, it was changed to green. This version of Hulk is more morally ambiguous, meaning that he has not problem doing all series of horrible stuff, becoming a mafia boss and gunning down all of his enemies. This will be the weaker version of the Hulk strength-wise, but his intelligence, along with his twisted sense of morality, make him even more dangerous than Savage Hulk. Devil Hulk Devil Hulk is what Bruce Banner perceives as a father figure. This is an alternate personality of Hulk that was there since Bruce's childhood. He wanted a loving father, but due to his father's abuse, he didn't know what love was. So, Devil Hulk was what Bruce thinks a father figure is. Due to comic book logic, Devil Hulk has also come out of just Bruce's consciousness and materialized in the real world, causing all kinds of havoc. Worldbreaker Hulk Worldbreaker Hulk is not an alternate version of Hulk, he's just Savage Hulk at his angriest. As his name indicates, he can destroy planets without much effort. Red Hulk Red Hulk is Tadeus Ross, better known as General Ross. He's also an alternate personality of General Ross, but he has more control over it than Bruce's control over Hulk. Although he's a member of S.H.I.E.L.D., he's a more visceral version of Hulk, not hesitating to kill his enemies, killing the Abomination and almost killing A-Bomb. Abomination The Abomination is one of the most well-known villains of the Incredible Hulk, thanks to his apparition on the movie from 2008. His real name is Emil Blonsky. He was a Yugoslavian spy who infiltrated the US Army, commanded by General Ross. Developing hate for the Incredible Hulk, he will eventually be exposed to Gamma Rays and spend the rest of his life trying to kill Hulk. His first apparition was in Tales to Astonish, issue 90. The Leader The Leader is another of the most well-known villains of the Incredible Hulk. His real name is Samuel Stern. He worked in a chemical plant. One day an accident happened and he was bombarded with gamma radiation. Instead of becoming a green bulk of mass, he acquired a bigger brain, because of his desire to be as smarter. At some point, he will become an enemy of the Incredible Hulk. His first apparition was in Tales to Astonish, issue 62. Red She-Hulk Red She-Hulk is Betty Ross. At some point, she died in the comics, but later it was explained that she was never dead in the first place, and her father, General Ross, just froze her body. The leader and Modok ran some experiments on her to try to revive her through gamma radiation, and she became Red She-Hulk. Amadeus Cho Amadeus Cho is a prodigy Korean-American that was supposed to be the replace of the Incredible Hulk in the comics, but it didn't work that well and they just reverted back to Bruce Banner. Hulk was around before the bomb. Yeah, in the comics it is explained that Bruce had dissociative identity disorder even before the explosion, and Hulk was around way before that. The comics have gone as far as to say that Bruce was born with Hulk inside of him. Can see ghosts One of the least known abilities of Hulk is that he can see ghosts, being one of the few characters that can see Doctor Strange's astral form and other mystical creatures. Also, another fact that is not in the iceberg is that it is impossible to erase Hulk's memory. 
when Doctor Strange made everyone forget that Peter Parker is Spider-Man, Hulk still remembered Spider-Man's identity. Hulk uses villain colors. This refers to the fact that when Hulk was created, most hero suits used red, yellow or blue, and green and purple was exclusively used for villains, and that is because Hulk was more of a villain when he was created, destroying everything on his path. She-Hulk was copyright protection. Both Spider-Woman and She-Hulk were created by the weirdest reason. Marvel didn't have the right to neither a Spider-Woman nor a She-Hulk. So that means that anyone could have created those characters that people would associate with either Spider-Man or Hulk without paying anything to Marvel. So before that happened, Marvel created both characters to avoid any copyright issues. Peter David Peter David is one of the most famous writers in the comic book history, and he wrote a lot of comics for The Incredible Hulk. He wrote Hulk comics for almost 12 years, creating characters like Professor Hulk. If you have ever read a Hulk comic, chances are that he was the writer. Hulk Coaster Hulk Coaster is a roller coaster located at Universal Orlando Resort. It was open to the public on 1999. I didn't expect it to be that old. It is still operating. If you have been on the Hulk coaster, leave your experience in the comment section. Tier 3 Dark Waters Infinity War deleted scenes. Both Infinity War and Avengers Endgame have a lot of deleted scenes. Hulk is the Avenger with the most deleted scenes. It seems that they had a lot of ideas for him. There was a scene where Hulk was supposed to break out of the Hulk Buster, and Black Widow was going to sing a lullaby for him. And for Avengers Endgame, there are a few. One of Hulk getting angry, kinda silly, and the other of Hulk saving some people from a building on fire. Ellen Cho in MCU Ellen Cho, mother of Amadeus Cho in the comics, appeared in Avengers Age of Ultron. I don't know why, but when I watched the movie, I assumed that she died, but apparently she's still alive. Although, I think that it is unlikely that she will return. High School Bombing In The Incredible Hulk issue 81, it is revealed that once, Bruce Banner tried to bomb his high school, while he was influenced by Hulk, Hulk thinking that all the bullies deserved that, and Bruce believing that they didn't. In the end, Bruce manages to defuse the bomb, but he gets beaten up by his bullies. Breathing Underwater Yeah, another of the least known abilities of the Incredible Hulk is that he can breathe underwater. Also, he's able to survive while he's in space. Amyotrophic Lateral Sclerosis in The Incredible Hulk Volume 2 Issue 32, it is revealed that Bruce Banner has amyotrophic lateral sclerosis. Basically, his muscles are all screwed because of his constant transformations into Hulk, and he feels constant pain because of that. Umar Mim Panels Okay, what I'm going to say is pretty disgusting and unnecessary. One of those things that comic book writers do when they run out of ideas. So, if there is any kids listening, please Cover your ears. Umar is Dormammu's sister. One day she decided that she wanted Hulk as her romantic partner. The thing is that through a spell she got Hulk into a smash mode. To say it somehow. And Hulk only lasted 6 minutes. Yeah, you didn't need to know that, but now you do. Marlo Chandler Marlo Chandler was Hulk's girlfriend while he was Joe Fixit. Although the relationship didn't last long, Marlon Chandler would end up marrying Rick Jones. Brian Banner killed Rebecca Banner. Yeah, Bruce's father, Brian, killed his mother, Rebecca, in front of Bruce. Bruce killed his father. Yeah, Bruce killed his father. While Bruce was visiting his mother's grave, Brian Banner started to blame Bruce for everything, and then he just started to attack Bruce. To which Bruce just pushed his father really hard, and he snapped his neck by hitting his head on the grave of Bruce's mom. Bruce just repressed this memory and doesn't remember it. 
Herpy. Herpy is also Betty Ross. Remember what I said about Modok and the leader running some experiments on her before transforming into Red She Hulk? Before that, she was the Hulk villain, Harpy. God, these comics are complicated. Think of it as one of multiple personalities that Betty also has. Recently, Harpy returned and almost killed Hulk. Tony Stark Redcon. In the comics, it was revealed, or rather, Redcon that Tony Stark tweaked the Gamma Bomb that created Hulk, revealing that if Tony didn't tweak the bomb, Bruce Banner would have been killed by the explosion. Doc Green Doc Green is again an alternate personality of Bruce Banner, but this one is kinda different. After an accident, Bruce loses all of his intelligence, being incredibly dumb, not even remembering that he is Hulk. Iron Man helps Bruce with his extremist technology, helping him regain his intelligence. The thing is that Bruce tweaks this device to preserve his intelligence even while he turns into Hulk. After he turns into Hulk, Doc Green is born, being the smartest version of Hulk. The thing is that Bruce Banner gets trapped inside Doc Green's mind, but he will eventually come back. Jim Wilson Jim Wilson is a character that appears briefly in the Hulk comics. Jim Wilson lives in Harlem, and he helped Bruce to hide while he was being chased by the army. I think that Jim Wilson has a small fan base because he appears briefly in the movie The Incredible Hulk. Jarella Jarella was another love interest of The Incredible Hulk. Hulk loved her so much that they even got married at some point, but alas, she died crushed by a building. Guardian, Triad. The Guardian or Triad is yet another personality of Bruce Banner, although this one serves more as an imaginary friend for Hulk. He represents his survival instincts, guiding him whenever he's in danger. Sunshine Joe. This is just another name for Joe Fix It. Nothing too special here. Monica. Monica Rappaccini was yet another girlfriend of Hulk, although I should say that she was more interested in Bruce Banner. They broke up at some point and she became an AM agent. Paul Jenkins Paul Jenkins is another of the most prominent writers of The Incredible Hulk, writing comics like Dogs of War and he brought concepts like Hulk's dissociative identity disorder and amyotrophic lateral sclerosis. Earth-X Bruce Earth-X Bruce is an alternate version of Hulk. This Hulk became a sponge of Gamma Rays. Hulk and Bruce Gamma Overload will be so much that they had to be separated. Although Bruce will become blind and will have the body of a child, and Hulk will look like a monkey. They now work together as one. Hulk the End Hulk the End is one of the saddest stories of the Incredible Hulk. After a nuclear attack, the whole civilization on Earth disappears. And Hulk is the only human left alive. Bruce wants to die, but Hulk won't allow it. Seriously, if you want to understand the relationship between Bruce and Hulk, you need to read this comic. The Maestro The Maestro is the future version of Hulk. Sort of, he is from the future imperfect. In this future, there was a nuclear war that resulted in Hulk becoming even stronger because of the constant exposure to gamma radiation. But he will also become more mentally unstable. This version of Hulk will kill all the heroes in the Marvel Universe and become the ruler of that future. Ultimates the Ultimate Universe also has its own version of Hulk, although it is slightly different from the 616 universe. This version of Bruce Banner was a scientist working for S.H.I.E.L.D. In an experiment, he injected himself with the Super Soldier Serum, and instead of becoming a Super Soldier like Captain America, he became Hulk. This Hulk will join the team, the Ultimates, the Avengers version of the Ultimate Universe. Body Horror Some of the Hulk comics have a lot of body horror, which means that they have a lot of gore or Hulk tends to do weird stuff, like mutating in a monster with a lot of heads 
or other stuff kinda disturbing for Marvel standards these days. Tier 4, The Abyss Seduction of the Innocent The band Seduction of the Innocent has a small appearance in The Incredible Hulk issue 386. Marlo Chandler, Hulk's ex-girlfriend, attends to their concert. Carmilla Black Carmilla Black is a background character that appears in a lot of Hulk comics. And I say background character because I read a lot of Hulk comics and literally I just found out about her existence. She appears in World War Hulk and Civil War. Her first appearance was in The Amazing Fantasy Volume 2, Issue 7. Hulk Syndrome Most likely this refers to the Amok Syndrome. This is an aggressive dissociative behavioral pattern that makes you have anger bursts. This was dubbed the Hulk syndrome because, you know, haha, <laughs> funny green monster goes angry. Clown Alter Yeah, Hulk has an altered personality that is a clown. It first appeared in the Avengers issue 1 and it hasn't been referenced ever since then. Bruce was assaulted. I guess I have to talk about this. On one occasion, Bruce was giving himself a shower in a public restroom, and he was assaulted by a couple of homosexual men. This traumatized Bruce and ended up with him running and turning into Hulk. This happened in Rampaging Hulk issue 23. Suicide attempts. This refers to the many times that Bruce Banner tried to kill himself. Bruce trying to commit suicide, only to be saved by Hulk. Also, in the movie from 2008, there is a deleted scene where Bruce tries to kill himself. This scene is referenced in the first Avengers movie. Death's twin Do you remember Scar? Hulk's son. Well, he actually has a death twin, kinda. His name is Hiro Kala, and doesn't look nothing like Hulk. The biggest difference is that his powers come from love and not anger. Old Man Logan Hulk In the comic Old Man Logan, the main villain is the Hulk gang. They are a group of teenagers with the same powers as Hulk. But the biggest twist is that they are in fact the children of Hulk. But the mother is none other than Jennifer Walters. Yep. Hulk had an incestuous relationship with his cousin. This is by far one of the most twisted versions of Hulk. Fix it B. Hogan. In Marvel Comics Presents issue 45, the Incredible Hulk and Hulk Hogan have a small fight, where, as you can imagine, Hulk beats Hogan really bad. It is worth mentioning that this version of Hulk was Grey Hulk, better known as Joe Fix It. Harlan Ellison Hulk has stories that adapt works from Harlan Ellison, mainly The Place With No Name, Deeper Than The Darkness, and The Beast That Showed Love At The Heart Of The World. The Amazing Bulk The Amazing Bulk is a parody movie of The Incredible Hulk. It has really bad special effects and watching it is just a torture. But still, this movie has better CGI than She-Hulk. Erin Hansen Erin Hansen, who you might know as Ego Raptor, is the voice of the Incredible Hulk in the video game Marvel Ultimate Alliance. Kiss Me Deadly In the Immortal Hulk issue 18, it is mentioned that Hulk's voice sounds like Ralph Meeker in the movie Kiss Me Deadly. She-Hulk Unreleased Pilot she-Hulk was supposed to appear on the TV show of the Incredible Hulk, but they never sorted things out. Finally, they decided that She-Hulk was going to have her own TV show, but it was cancelled due to Bill Bixby's death. These pictures are the only proof that we have of the show's existence. She-Hulk was going to be played by the actress Bridget Nielsen. I don't know, but she looks like Shigo from Kim Possible. Doc Green equals Maestro It was revealed that Doc Green, the smartest version of the Hulk, would become at some point Maestro. That is why Hulk decided to completely ditch that personality. 
the one below all. If you know a bit about Marvel Comics, you probably already know the character, the one above all, the god of the Marvel Universe, and he is a good deity. But, as everything in life, the one above all has his opposite, and that is, the one below all. His first appearance was in the Immortal Hulk issue 5. The one below all is in the depths of hell, and Hulk has to seal him. The one below all is the incarnation of evil, and he feeds of sadness and anger, prominent emotions in the Incredible Hulk, and he manifests himself through gamma radiation, so he's responsible for the creation of all the Hulks that exist. I skipped a few facts that I couldn't find enough information for, or that I didn't consider interesting enough, so in return I will give you a few extra facts that I know of. Spider-Hulk Spider-Man has acquired the powers of the Incredible Hulk on two different occasions. One was in the web of Spider-Man issue 70, and the other in the Immortal Hulk Great Power issue 1. In both occasions, it was because a villain made Spider-Man acquire the powers of Hulk. Bullet Points In this universe, Bruce Banner is Spider-Man. He was beaten by a radioactive spider infused with gamma rays. So this version of Spider-Man loses control to anger similar to Hulk. Also, in this universe, Bruce Banner is an agent of S.H.I.E.L.D. Bros and Hulk have been separated. This iceberg doesn't explicitly mention it, but yeah, Hulk and Bruce have been separated on multiple occasions, but these changes never last long, and for better or worse, Hulk and Bruce are destined to live together and most likely die together. Their Devil Black Suit Origin The black suit of their devil first appeared on the TV special the Trial of the Incredible Hulk, and not on the comic The Man Without Fear. The Trial of the Incredible Hulk was released on 1989, and The Man Without Fear comic on 1993. So yeah, thanks to the Hulk TV show, we have the black Daredevil suit that we all know and love, and it is easy to cosplay. A shout out to Cashman Jedi, Jose Maria, Aswix, Joe Kupati, Ender PSR1, Dancer Sage and Mari. If you want a shout out in my next video, give me a like, be sure to click the subscribe button and leave It's Hulking Time on the comment section. Thank you so much for watching and bye bye.